So hi, hello and welcome again. <laughs> Microbe Hunter here, I'm Oliver. Look what I found in the fridge, in my fridge the other day. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> Some ham. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, yeah, basically, how can this even happen to me, even to me? Well, we simply overlooked it. Somewhere on the very back in the fridge, this is uh, basically what um, I found. Um, the ham has already been opened, therefore, of course, spores and bacteria from the air could reach the ham, and therefore it, it spoiled fairly quickly, even though it was in the fridge the whole time. Um, yeah, of course, you know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a sample of the mold and I'm going to put it under the microscope. Let's, let's have a closer look. So um, this uh, fungus, uh, fungal colony over here, you can see it already has turned uh, dark in the center. This one over here as well. It's a sign that uh, already spores started to form. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to carefully take a small sample here. Look, eating this stuff is of course going to probably make you very, very, very ill. Um, so um, I also want to be careful because there are of course also bacteria growing on the surface here. So I don't want to touch it. I'm therefore going to not even use uh, tweezers. I'm going to use uh, disposable toothpicks uh, to uh, to take a sample here. So let's let's get started. So a little bit of, uh, of water first um, on my microscope slide. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to try to take uh, off a little bit um, of uh, you know of this fungus over here without actually touching anything here, and then of course um, I have to make sure that uh, the toothpick then is uh, also carefully disposed of. You can barely see something here. Yeah, let's kind of get it off here, and another one. We're gonna see. How this looks like under the microscope if we're lucky we're able to uh, find um, a couple of spores as well yeah but i think uh, i better dispose of it very quickly before um, i accidentally touch it so um, and uh, of course a cover glass uh, goes on top here we go and uh, let's have a look under the microscope well i think it's a quite a nice and a pretty <laughs> specimen here um, this is how it looks like. Oh, you see those uh, string-like cells uh, of the mold. And then, yes, I cannot believe it. Uh, some beautiful conidiophores. What in the world are they? If you can see those uh, yeah, branches uh, over here that are extending uh, in this finger-like manner, right? Yeah, these are called conidiophores and uh, the do real little round dots here. These are spores. So those uh, spores, they will spread over the air and uh, they will start uh, to form a, a new mold. So let's let's uh, go in a little bit, let's zoom in a little bit more, let's have a closer look. Yeah, here we go again. Look, yeah, to a certain extent, uh, <laughs> I do consider it quite, uh, quite fascinating and uh, also quite interesting. But, but uh, there are a couple of other things that I found here. Maybe you can take a look at the, the tiny moving things here in the background what could these be i don't know are you able to see those okay have a look those tiny dots here yeah especially this one over here yeah maybe this one over here as well well these look very much like bacteria Okay, so very often um, it's like this if uh, something, uh, some food becomes moldy, it's not only a fungus, not only the mold that you're able to see, but uh, usually there is uh, quite a bit of contamination also with bacteria present. Yeah? And that's uh, basically what we have over here. Yeah, and uh, I have found many, uh, that's uh, these dots here a little bit dirt, but look, uh, it looks quite, uh, quite nice. Yeah, um, and... Uh, millions and millions of spores and uh, this means that uh, this mold uh, basically will not only produce toxins uh, that spread throughout the food but uh, if you're not careful then the mold will also spread inside uh, the refrigerator um, of course or wherever you kept the food um, and uh, it's going to also start infecting other um, other intact food so that's why it's very important to always make sure that uh, you immediately discard and throw away uh, moldy food yeah so let's uh, try another one uh, let's try this one over here i wonder if this is also a fungus uh, or maybe a bacterial colony i'm not quite sure okay let's uh, spread it apart um, again and the cover glass goes on top so here we go again no that's uh, basically also a fungus okay not a bacterium okay so not a bacterial colony but you can see that the yeah there seem to be less uh, spores uh, on here at least i cannot find any um, any of them right now but also very typical for fungus uh, is is that it starts uh, to branch so if you look at the individual 
a high fee. These are the, the cells here. You see that they are branched, and that's very typical of, of, of a fungus. Yeah. Okay, uh, so maybe I'm able to find a couple of uh, spores uh, from, uh, from the one before. Yeah, plenty of uh, spores, each one of them capable of starting a completely new fungal colony. Yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that uh, as always. Uh, uh, now I can throw away the ham with good conscience after having put it directly under the microscope. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm just going to wish you now all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.